Please remain standing. UTI thanks and honors its graduates, uh, veterans, and those who continue to serve. Will the following graduates please rise to be recognized? Ruben Morello is a U.S. Army veteran. <laughs> Jeffrey Perez Nunez is also a veteran in the United States Army. Take a moment to honor some other very important people in the room today. I'm talking about the parents, spouses, and loved ones of our graduates. Without the support, encouragement, and sometimes cash, these graduates may not have made it to this day. Graduates, please stand and show those who support you some love. I would now like to introduce one of our welding instructors, Christopher Johnson, to share a few words. Oh, hi all. How's everybody doing today? Thank you. Uh, so, much like our students, I didn't do my homework, so I'm doing this off the cuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of the welding instructors. Uh, listen, it's been a pleasure teaching you guys for the last nine months, and all the students, it's been a pleasure seeing you guys move through your program as well. Uh, as you guys go into the workforce, just continue working hard, study hard, all, use every opportunity as a learning opportunity, always work on improving. Out of you guys, you guys have done great work. You guys have built very cool stuff throughout this entire program. Uh, when you get out there, continue doing your thing, continue building cool shit. That's all I got. <laughs> I want to thank God, because without him, I wouldn't be here today. And this would be possible. Um, I'm very honored because this is the first time I've actually earned something. So I already, I'd like to give myself a round of applause for that. <laughs> Next course, Power Trains, I had Mr. Lesniak. He taught me about persevering yourself and really made sure I understood what I was doing. So from there on out, I decided to go home, start doing my DLPs, my IOLs, and I started getting in tune with what I was doing here. Um, eventually, I ended up getting into my diesel courses. Without Lubner, I wouldn't be in the uh, position I am today. I am a forklift technician, and he helped me realize that I really like material handling. So I want to give him a round of applause for helping me, guide me where I'm at today. Today is just not about your diplomas. You hold in your hands as the academic accolades you have earned. It's, it's about the countless hours of hard work and sacrifice and dedication that brought you to this very moment. It's, it's about the friendship, the lessons learned, and the memories made that will last a lifetime. But as we celebrate the significant milestone, let us, let us also take a moment to acknowledge the challenges that have tested our resolve and shaped our characters. The road to success is rarely easy, and and each of you have faced each of you have faced your share of obstacles along the way. Yet, in the face of adversity, you've shown remarkable courage, determination, and perseverance. As you prepare to embark in your next chapter of your lives, remember that in this world, it's full of endless possibilities and opportunities waiting to be seized. Whether you choose to further your education, pursue your passion, or enter the workforce. Know that you have the knowledge, skills, and strength to make a difference in whatever path you choose to pursue. But as you set out to conquer the world, never forget the values that have guided you thus far. Integrity, compassion, humility, and empathy. Remember that true success is not measured by wealth, fame, or power, but by the impact we all have on our lives and, other, and the legacy we leave behind. As you navigate the uncertainties of the future, I urge you to embrace every challenge as an opportunity for growth, uh, every setback as a chance to learn, and every success as a testament to your hand, your hard work, and determination. And remember that no matter where life may take you, your family will always have your back and support you and celebrate your achievements. Uh, so to the gradu uh, graduating class, I offer my sincerest congratulations on this special day. May you continue to dream boldly, soar high, and make the world a better place with your talents, your passion, and your unwavering commitment to excellence. Uh, so congrats, graduates. The world is yours for the takers.
Angel Chicas. On behalf of the governing bodies and accrediting commissions of our institution, it is my pleasure to award these candidates for graduation. All rights and privileges guaranteed to them as graduates of the Universal Technical Institute. Graduates, please move the tassel from the passenger side and the driver's side of your cap to signify the award that you can Now present to you the March 29, 2024 graduating class of the Universal Technical Institute. Let's give them a warm round of applause.